Ross Kosberg joins us live via uh, via Skype. Ross, hey, Ross. I, I have been I have been working on four or five different novels for ten years now. I get so out to about thirty eight pages, and for some reason, forty the number forty <laughs> stops me. Uh, what am I doing wrong, man? Help me. Uh, you know, it's interesting. You're uh, you're certainly not the first person I've heard that from. I, I talked to. Uh, I've talked to thousands of authors over the last few years, and uh, it's amazing. But uh, even really smart, savvy, intelligent people get stuck in finally finishing and writing their book. So, uh, you know, there are three primary problems that people have, and uh, we like to put them with celebrity names. Oh, okay. Okay, so what's the first celebrity name? Well, the first one is Tony Robbins. Have you heard of Tony? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, motivational speaker guy. Yeah. Life coach, right? Uh, we call it the Tony Robbins Trouble. And what the Tony Robbins trouble is, is a lot of people think they need to be the only subject matter expert in the world on their thing. And if someone else has already written about their thing, uh, whether it's finance or, or whether it's, uh, you know, overcoming some challenge in their life, then they get shy and they don't want to do it. Tony recently came out with a book called Money Master the Game. And Tony isn't known for being a financial coach. And yet that didn't stop him from writing a whole new book on the subject. So we call it Tony Robbins Trouble okay. if that stops you. Okay. Oh, All that's right. a good one. Okay. And the second celebrity is Kim Kardashian. I'm interested to see why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, obviously everyone knows Kim, so we call it the Kim Kardashian conundrum. And what the Kim Kardashian conundrum is, is a lot of people want to write about their life story. And they want to tell the things that they've overcome and how they've been successful. And the challenge with that is if you just think about your autobiography, if your name isn't Kim Kardashian or Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, then probably most people are not that interested in hearing about your life story, to be quite honest. So what you need to think in terms of is not writing about you, but think about your audience and what your story can do to help and transform your audience. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a good way to All right. Look at I, it. I feel like we're having a breakthrough here, Doctor. Let's get let's go to have one. Uh, Papa Hemingway, Ernest Hemingway. Yeah, the last one may uh, may apply directly to you. A lot of people are, are really challenged. We call it the Ernest Hemingway error. And what that is is people get insecure because they think, you know, I need to be a writer like an Ernest Hemingway. And if I'm not, you know, that kind of writer, then I'm really not going to produce a great quality book. And, and the reality is, you know, there are great tools and obviously there's companies like mine and others that can help people to get their content and subject matter out so they don't have to be an Ernest Hemingway to write a fantastic book that makes an impact on the world. I love it. I think you've helped out a lot of people here, man, <laughs> including myself. Bestsellingpublishing.org. Is that how we get uh, more information? Yep. It's actually bestsellerpublishing.org. Bestseller. Okay. And, uh, and absolutely. And that's our number. We're here in Pasadena, California. So, you know, happy to help great aspiring authors like yourself. Uh, excellent. And you know what would really help me if I could come to your backyard and just hang out because <laughs> yeah, it looks right? really pretty there. So <laughs> Eight degrees. I mean, I got to be outside, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very well, much for yourself. joining us. Thank you so much. All right, I'm fired up. I'm gonna get these done. Guys, fired up. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, Grill.